Hello fellow explorers, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we own to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity, our Genoa Sun Odyssey 50DS. Have you ever been surprised by the impact a simple upgrade had on your life? How did you decide what to upgrade? Was it about functionality, aesthetics or a combination of both? Last week saw an episode of truly learning about and indulging in the culture of the magnificent Greece, as we navigated through a series of ancient Greek traditions, observing ceremonies, honouring the patron saint of sailors, and diving into the happenings of the Epiphany Day ceremonies. Don't miss the chance to show your support by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement keeps the channel and crew going strong. To our dedicated audience, thank you for your continued presence. We feel you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. We cherish connecting with y'all. Join us this episode as we both fail and and succeed to continue pimping out our ride, featuring new additions to Trinity in the electrical, cooking, social, and comfort spheres, with only a few brain cells lost in the process. Much better than our usual. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. To, we put it up when we reached 5,000 subscribers, so, so we just want a bit of footage for it. Yep. Does that look okay there? Wait, you see, I'm gonna get it. Get, it get the YouTube symbol, take. Hey? Yep. We were planning on putting up our sticker, our follow us on YouTube on the boom. But we put it up to kind of see what it looked like and we decided we're gonna actually get a new sticker made. We think the follow us on YouTube is a bit. It just doesn't really suit the boat. We might just get a YouTube symbol instead. Our friend Hinton is staying on one of the boats on our pontoon and he mentioned to us that he knows a place like up the road that will do decals, which is great. So it's not gonna be a huge ordeal to change it up. So yeah, we're gonna get that done. I think we're just gonna get a YouTube symbol instead. And we'll put that up when we hit 5,000 subscribers. So that's on you guys, you know what to do. We already showed you. And yeah, I can't wait to actually finally put it up. You'll see it soon enough. <laughs> With the boom decals being put on the back burner until we reach 5,000 subs and order our new one. That's crazy by the way, thank you guys. It's time to move on to our next new addition to Trinity, one that hopefully won't have anything to do with the realm of burning or back burning at all. We're all good. Very awkward. Yeah. I think I'll have the pleasure. We'll take it open the box first. Excited! I got a bike way! So the first one we ordered back in, what was it, November? November, yeah. Yeah, never arrived. Matt ordered this one and it came in less than five days. So excited! So excited! Hope it fits. <laughs> it says that's going to be the next drama. It should fit. It looks quite big. No, but it has loads of packaging inside. I wait and see. The usual, too much packaging. So we chose this microwave <laughs> because it has all of these options. Actually, Martin did a lot of research. Uh, number one for the size, and it's a combi microwave oven. Eco modes, which is going to be good for the boat. And the capacity is only 23 litres, but we don't need anything much bigger than that. And obviously, uh, the space that we have, like this, only a certain amount of depth and height and, and width. So, happy days! There's spyware Yay. in that microwave. Oh, well, you never know. One of those travel life influencer microwave unboxing. <laughs> this is the Samsung microwave combination oven. We're super exciting, we know. After a lot of research, we found it to be the most functional and economical for our boat. We are also wiring up an entire solar system soon in hopes of spending most of the 2024 season on anchor. Hence the combi oven and grill, as we will be prioritizing electricity usage over gas usage this summer. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Turn it this way. 
Tina Turner that way. Lift. Yeah. Fire. I can't break that. It's actually. Yeah. It's a test of my strength. Actually, now. I have to see if she thinks. Yeah, I'll have to find two places to go with this. I'm trust you with your stuff. <laughs> We're only learning. Her name might be Taylor Sheridan, but she's not quite the director just yet. <laughs> that was great. Do you like that? I've had that in the bag, Taylor. I've had that in the bag. I should have kept it in the bag. <laughs> Venture through the dangerous cardboard styrofoam terrain. I'll just walk around it. The door is off. Are you gonna pop it in? I I just like a Being arrested for breaking the door, breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. <laughs> Okay. Twist it forward. Just yes. it on the on the plug itself. There's a recess, and that's where the earth pin goes. So that has to be up. Yeah. yeah. Up. Oh my God! It feels this feels like a Blair Witch fan footage video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do it. Thank you. So you're not taking the glory of putting it in. <laughs> Thanks for your assistance, Mo. <laughs> Round three. <laughs> yeah, cool. This time we break the microwave. Heat up the coffee. Yay. Yeah, we'll have a test yeah, subject. We'll have a test run. <laughs> heat up that <laughs> second right, coffee that I made him that he let run cold. So that we're gonna heat up as a tester. Tester. Thirty seconds. Maybe. Oh, there's no light. What? Light, and you don't get to watch it spin. What's the point? I don't care if it's warm if I can't watch the process. Are all these things microwave safe? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, can you let us know if it works? It's like a king's taste, isn't it? The cup is hotter than coffee, though, yeah. They're not really good for microwave. That would be my idea. Just have to drink it in future when it's made for us. <laughs> wow, we're so responsible here uh, on Trinity. Only we could turn getting a microwave into probably 10 minutes of footage. <laughs> What's the story with the door? Do we, is this going somewhere now? Yeah, oh, with Cupid somewhere. Locker. Throw it in the Atlantic there. I'm not it's, it out. it's something for Jack and Rose to hold on to. There you go. Sometimes I wish I was oh, <laughs> under 18. I could call CPS. She's gonna put me in the microwave. I'm not microwave safe. <laughs> Although we lost a door and perhaps a few brain cells in the process. We're grateful for a way to finally heat up our many cold coffees. Speaking of, cheers to Russell who bought us another coffee for the second week in a row. We appreciate you, man. For those wondering, we've set up a Buy Me A Coffee page to give you an opportunity to support the channel in a new way. With a personal message or without, we'll feature you and your text on the channel in our next episode. Just scroll down and click the link in the description to get started. Cheers to our incredible Sailing Trinity community. See you over there. Re-energized, let's move on on to our next set of electrical additions. Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> hey everybody, just a little bit excited today. Finally getting the oven fixed uh, gives me a little bit more options for cooking. I don't know if any of you guys have ever used like a camping oven or something, but that's like what I've had for the last couple of months. So I'm pretty excited about that, and especially being winter here at the minute, have a few more options, you know, to cook stuff in the oven. Plus the oven is also the grill. They came last week and replaced the actual knobs. I'll show you that in a, in a couple of seconds. They've had to still order the one for the oven. So yeah, I don't really know all the technical side of things. But anyway, the oven just wasn't staying lit and we had to buy a, a new part for it that they're going to install. And then also the cables that are going to the gas are like way out of date. <laughs> like 10 years old which is really not very good so yeah they had to order those as well it's a standard thing that you have so yeah i'll just flip this around and give you a little look at the cooker this one sec. so yeah you can see there's just three little rings there this is the part that we need for the oven 
and then this is the actual so little oven and the grill like it's not very big but definitely be able to cook a shepherd's pie and bits and bobs in it for sure Mr. Clean? Not very good. <laughs> it's not very good they actually. Recommend, they recommend it but it's not very good. Although the, the dirt is baked on I suppose. Ovens are always difficult ones. Filthy. We've cleaned up this bit shinier than what it was. It was quite filthy I suppose. It's never been out of the oven cavity. We've replaced the thermocouple. It wasn't keeping the oven lit. We're replacing the igniter with a new ignition. Oh, fancy. Yeah, just a general clean up and putting it back, making some adjustments, adjustments to make sure it comes out a little bit easier in the future and putting on a new oven adjustment knob as well. This is where the oven had been. Looks a bit naky now. There's the gas down here and then the oven on here. I am personally super excited to have an oven because it has been a challenge <laughs> cooking only with uh, frying pans and pots. And there's worse things at least we have things to cook with to be grateful for. But it will be nice to have an oven. In addition to having our oven pimped out, we also had marine technicians from Yacht 24 come aboard to replace our broken shore inverter switch and to rewire some of our 12 volt charging systems. Their team also installed some new inline charging docks to our workstations. <laughs> With our cooking and working stations semi-revamped, it's time to move on to our final edition this week, this time focused on the stations of comfort. Our cushions are going off to be recovered. Very excited about that. Left with no cushions now, but that's okay. We'll use our outdoor ones for a little while. <laughs> you smoke? Yes. <laughs> And I restart the smoke 30 years old because I am the office. Yeah. yeah, we'll just use the outdoor cushions, Matt. Yeah. All the piping and all. My draw diagram wires and pipes. Whatever felt your belt, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the solar stuff. <laughs> At work on Trinity today. Paperwork. Paperwork. Who loves and hates paperwork? We do. <laughs> Just made the captain a nice hot chocolate and a little cookie for being a good captain. <laughs> good captain. <laughs> what well, doesn't make me happy though is the state of the boat. Look at the state of this. Oh my goodness. You get one job done. <laughs> and it's such a small space. Everywhere gets wrecked. I do have a nice Irish stew though over in that big pot over there. And the oven has finally been fixed, so I'm a happy camper. Several days later. Yay, new cushions! <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Oh. We've been making do. We sure have. For the bus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they look so much warmer and everything, don't they? Nice. Hey, Captain, come down. You're getting a new chair. <laughs> uh huh. A new, a new throne. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot better than the wood. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Actually, looks like a couch. Oh. Okay, Bonnie. Too happy. When it comes to furnishing boats, particularly with couches and seating, attention to detail is paramount. Boat interiors demand specialized materials and precise tailoring to seamlessly integrate with the wooden inserts and frames already structured into the vessel. To ensure a perfect fit, experienced seamstresses are enlisted to meticulously craft these furnishings. Each stitch is carefully considered to align with the unique contours of the boat's interior, maintaining both functionality and aesthetic appeal. In selecting materials, durability and ease of maintenance are key factors. For indoor marina furniture, fabrics that are wipeable and non-stain absorbent are favoured. For our boat, we opted for a special material that offers both practicality and style. Its easy to clean properties make it ideal for life at sea, while its stain resistant nature provides added peace of mind in this unique living environment. Through a blend of specialised materials and skilled craftsmanship, our boat's new furnishings are tailored to perfection, ensuring comfort and elegance on every voyage. Yeah, there's a big difference. Today, but <laughs> oh, it's so comfy after sitting on the outdoor yeah. like well, She did a really good job. Oh, I have the screws. Hold on. I'm 
So we got some new foam. Yeah, so. yeah it's, a, it's a protection thing on the inside. Yeah. So we've got nice. new foam here. Yeah, all yeah. glued on. They were all... New protection. And we've got liners on the inside. It's all lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. New zips. New zips because these... Oh my gosh. They were the most difficult thing to take out. Hey, you could have told me to get my hair done. <laughs> the first time Mum and I took the foam out to try and wash the covers, I was like, oh, we're never washing them again. <laughs> It oh, all rough. The home, you know, I'm very happy with that. I'm glad. It looks nice and cozy. Nice the <laughs> with the honest relief of having comfortable and well fitted couch cushions to finally sit on, I think it's time we log off and get to enjoying them. Well, that's all we have this week, folks. An episode of getting Trinity to a state of MTV Cribs readiness as we inch closer and closer to finally leaving the marina and beginning our sailing season adventures. Which upgrade do you think we'll find most rewarding this summer season? Let us know in the comments. See you guys next Friday. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys.